In an announcement straight out of Black Mirror, last week actor Bruce Willis appeared to have sold the rights to his face to a Russian tech company. The company is called Deep Cake, and they specialize in creating deep fakes. See what they did there? A deep fake is basically a digital model of a person's face that can basically be plastered over someone else's. Deep Cake and Willis previously collaborated in 2021 on a Russian phone ad, and reports last week revealed that Willis and Deep Cake had come to an agreement that would allow the company to use Willis's face. Except apparently that deal doesn't exist. An article from The Hollywood Reporter broke the news that Willis's representatives confirmed that a deal with Deep Cake isn't real. They told me in an email, quote, please know that Bruce has no partnership or agreement with this Deep Cake company, end quote. While Deep Cake's publicist told The Hollywood Reporter that rights to Willis's digital likeness cannot be sold at all. The company further said that any future deep faking of Willis would be completely up to him. Deep Cake did not return our request for comment on the matter. <laughs> Story's over. This whole intersection of artificial intelligence and Hollywood is actually as interesting as it is completely dystopian. James Earl Jones actually sold his voice to a Ukrainian company called Respeecher, which would recreate his iconic performance as Darth Vader. In creepier news, there's reports out there that say that James Dean will be starring in a movie called Finding Jack, which is supposed to be a Vietnam era action movie. Just FYI, James Dean died in 1955 and will be digitally resurrected to star in the film. But this isn't necessarily a new practice. Who could forget the way Paul Walker was digitally inserted in Furious 7 following his death? It's not exactly a deep fake, but it's pretty damn close. I don't know about you, but I feel a little icky watching a movie with a deep fake of someone that actually hasn't been alive in years. Let's hope it doesn't get that far. To read more about this story, check out gizmodo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.